How to make a Cartesian diver. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. The science boffins are going to show us how to make a Cartesian diver. It is named after René Descartes, a famous French scientist, mathematician and philosopher. Step 1. You will need the following apparatus. Three sauce sachets, for instance ketchup or mayonnaise. A pint glass full of water. A large bottle of water. And a jug of water. Step 2. Aim. The aim of this experiment is to demonstrate the principle of buoyancy. Step 3. Method. Drop each sachet into the pint glass full of water. We will use the one that floats between the other two. This one floats too much. This one sinks too deep. But this one is just right. Take the bottle full of water and put in the sachet you have chosen. If you are having trouble, fold the sachet to squeeze it through. But be careful it doesn't split. The bottle must be completely filled or the experiment won't work. So top it up. Screw on the lid as tightly as you can. Now squeeze the bottle and see what happens. The sachet will dive to the bottom of the bottle. Now let go and watch it swim back up to the top again. Try squeezing it harder. It dives even faster. Step 4. Conclusion. Why did this happen? This experiment demonstrated the principle of buoyancy, which is that if the water that is displaced or pushed aside by an object weighs more than that object, then it will float. If it weighs less than the object, then it will sink. So when you squeeze the bottle, it applied extra pressure to the air bubble inside the diver, which reduced the size of that air bubble. And as the bubble got smaller, the diver became less buoyant and began to sink. Fish use this method to enable them to sink or float. They have a small air sac in their bodies and use their muscles to squeeze or relax this sac. And submarines can be made to rise and sink using the same principle, by pumping water in and out of tanks on board. Experiment complete.